this channel isn't very old, about six months or so, but a lot can happen in that time. Presidencies, elections and boycotts. Life comes at you fast, which one gentleman is about to show us. His name is Akon Man, and he's, well, I'll let him tell you. So, I'm a dude, right? I'm a cis dude. And I'm also a feminist. Yes, that is the 11th video I covered back when we were a mere 15 days old. I wonder what he's up to now. For the past seven, eight months or so, I have very quietly and privately identified as a gender fluid. This is what happens. You see, first you identify as a feminist, then 10 years down the line, you're a non-binary retard kin crying rape every time a train goes through a tunnel. Feminism, man, not even once. Uh, for those unaware of the language, um, uh, basically, um, I don't feel like a guy. Well, you are though. Most of the time. Oh, for fuck's sake. So you're actually going to be switching genders like four times a week then? Fucking hell. Um, but it's not really something that, um, that is like a rigid kind of identity for me. No, of course not. There's nothing rigid about gender fluidity, is there? It's just a bunch of fucking morons who can't decide what kind of little bitch they're gonna be today. But I don't feel like a guy most of the time. I, um, I never really felt right um, referring to myself as a man. I don't give a fuck how you feel. Most of the time I don't feel like going to work. That doesn't change the fact that I'm going to fucking work. Boy, maybe, but never man. Yeah, still the same gender though. Unless you're advocating some kind of age fluidity. Sounds ridiculous, but give it time. Never felt right seeing a mister in front of my name. Never really felt right. Fuck your comfort, boy! It might not feel right, but it is fucking right! What is it? Fucking title dysphoria? Fuck me! Um, and, uh, and this does. Describing myself in this way does. That, uh, that I'm not... Mentally stable? Uh, thinking this through? Oh, ready for adolescence! Wait a man, I'm not necessarily a trans woman, uh, but I'm not... Firing on all cylinders, working at full capacity, playing with a full deck. I'm somewhere in between, basically. Oh, you mean you're a fucking nutcase! For a long time, I've, uh, I've championed this notion of, um... A different kind of masculinity. Haha, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure a lot of beta males do that. If you can't join them, make your own, right? And, uh, and all that's really valid and real and good. I don't think your different masculinity is any of those things, actually. You're an effeminate male. That's not masculinity, you spanner, and it sure as shit isn't its own gender. Um, but for me, um, what I've realized as I've kind of become more aware of myself is that that doesn't really encompass... <laughs> Uh, the whole picture is that there, there's more to it. There's not. I'm sorry, dude, but you're just the same as the rest of us. You're not the chosen one. No one's coming to tell you you're a wizard and the fate of the galaxy doesn't rest in your hands. For me, and, and, um, and it's, it's this. It's this, is that I, I don't feel like a man a lot of the time. So what? Your feelings have no effect on your biology besides endorphins and shit. If feelings did affect gender, mine would currently be want to punch a simpleton in the dick. In the same way that um, when I was first kind of becoming aware of my sexuality, um, I, was, I was scared of how confusing at times it was. See, that I'm on board with, especially with how many fucking sexualities there are nowadays. Is there any chance you'll leave it there and just end the video? Uh, gender has been something that's been really confusing for me for, for a bit of time now. And this is where you lose me. Fucking sea creatures can tell the difference between a square and a circle. How are you managing to fuck it up? In high school, I kind of partook in this uh, performative masculinity. Oh, for fuck's sake, you can stick an adjective before the word masculinity to fit almost any situation. You never hear it for anything else, though, do you? Like invasive femininity. That's when they're being all ladylike right in your fucking face. And, um, and you can watch a lot of my older videos. I'm deliberately lowering my voice. Oh, well, you must be gender fluid then. No one ever changes their voice unless they're gender fluid. Right, Barbara? Shut the fuck up. What did you say, woman? Don't talk to her like that. What happened? Did I miss it? I'm, uh, the way that I dress, the way that my hair is, it's just, all of that was just, um, <laughs> it's what I thought I was supposed to do. It's the hair, isn't it? He keeps touching it to make sure it's still there. I'm telling you, it's the source of his gender fluidity. Um, it, it was not me, genuinely. It, it was not me. I don't feel like I actually 
genuinely started expressing who I was at like a holistic and internal level. Through changing your hair and clothing. Yeah, very holistic, very internal. David Beckham wore Alice bands and a fucking skirt, just saying. Um, until I moved to LA. David Beckham moved to LA in 2007 to play for LA Galaxy. Still very much a man though. Um, until I got out on my own and, um, and that was just because I just, I, for the longest time my entire life I had been performing this role <laughs> of who I was supposed to be. So you changed your appearance and behavior. Most people call that growing up, not realizing they're gender fluid or non-binary or a new color in the fucking rainbow or whatever. I know a lot of people may um, watch something like this and think, oh, you're just a little feminine. <laughs> You're still a guy, this, is, this isn't a real thing. Holy shit, is self-aware. Am I talking to a con man right now or have we bypassed the puppet and now have a direct link to the brains of the operation? His hair. Um, it, 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 to me, it feels very, very real. Um, and, and more than that, um, it feels right. All you've done is given yourself a new label, dude. I mean, if that makes things seem right to you, then you must be a piece of piss to buy a Christmas gift for. You know, it feels right for me to describe myself like this, um, in a way that, um, not very many things have felt right. Well then, just rename those things too! Recently lost a family member? Nah, they've just gone to live on a farm! Getting evicted from your home? No, you're testing your survival skills! Brain tumor getting you down? No, you're just too smart to live! Problem solved! As of right now, um, I'm not really, like, too worried about pronouns. Oh, fucking hell. You thought gender was confusing. This is where you get spoilt for fucking choice. Um, he is still okay. Um, I tend to refer to myself neutrally at any chance that I get. Surely you would refer to yourself as I. What's the... I, I don't get what you... Oh, fuck it. Carry on. Um, just to kind of practice thinking of myself that way, because it is... It's a, it's a process, kind of unlearning a lot of ways to describe and look and see myself. And what changes at the end of that? Fucking nothing! It's all just how you see yourself, and I can't think of a thought process less productive or more selfish than that! Um, because it is so ingrained in me. Uh, but there's a video I did recently, um, I think, I think it was the one where I was, like, doing a letter to myself in the past, and, uh... Will you leave your fucking hair alone? What's the matter with you? Occupy your hands, take up smoking or something! And I referred to myself neutrally in the video, and uh, if you like find it and rewatch it, you can kind of see there's like this moment of like, um... Unparalleled bullshit? Like, it's like I almost cried, like it almost just like burst out of me. No, oh, I get it. Preferred pronouns make me want to cry too. Um, just because it felt so good, you know, to look at myself and, and, and to kind of put the entire experience of my life into this kind of context and to realize how right it does feel. I'm honestly not trying to expect too much from the sort of person who writes themselves a letter that doesn't say buy more beer, but what in the living piss is this guy driveling on about? The gender box doesn't work for me, um, I found. It does, because you're male. You might not feel it, but you are, so get in the fucking box. And, uh, and it's something that I'm still navigating, so, uh... You're navigating the oceans of idiocy, mate! It's not picking a fucking colour for your living room walls, it's not choosing which branch of Ugandan law you're gonna work in, it's your fucking gender! You don't choose it like picking your ace in Skyrim, and how fucking entitled are you that you think you can? Fuck biology, I'm special! So this is... This is not a video in which I'm coming out and saying, um, I'm extremely confident. What? But the hair is supposed to imbue you with the self-assurance of Ryan Reynolds at a film premiere. Maybe it needs charging. And rigid, and I know all of the right things to say, and that I, I am now, like, super, like, good at this, because I don't think I am very good at this. I think I still have so, so much, so much to learn. Oh, that is right! There's a whole language that comes with it, and that shit is a fucking minefield! Say the wrong thing, and boom! No legs! I'm not doing this for attention. I'm not, uh, doing this to put myself at, like, the forefront of a movement. Way too many finger quotes there, dude! Overcompensating for something! Or whatever, um, because it's not, that's not what I am. Um, I, I'm doing this because 
um, th this feels like something that I should do. On YouTube, mind, but it's not for attention. Sure, he could have kept all this shit to himself instead of telling the fucking world, but it's not for attention. It's a journey of self-discovery that involves no one else, but he isn't telling us for attention. The whole gender thing is about attention, you fuck nut. No one sits there quietly being non-binary. They fucking scream about it. This is my gender. This is my identity. Talk to me about it, otherwise I just look like everyone else. You know, this feels like something that I'm excited to do. And uh, something that, I don't know, it just, it just feels like something that I've wanted to share for so long. But it's not for attention. But I haven't been comfortable enough to do so. And, uh, and now I am. Nothing really changes <laughs> in my life. Nothing like, at all really changes. Ah, I see you've caught up with the rest of us. Good for you. Hopefully you see how fucking futile this whole thing is now then. Uh, this, it's all the same. Everything's the same. Um, it's just this is... This is a, this is a part of my identity, and um, and it's important to me. It's it's very important to me. But how is it a part of your identity? You can't even say what fucking gender you are without consulting your feelings. That's not an identity. That's a fucking mental disability. Like I'm growing my hair out right now, um, <laughs> and and I've been doing so for like eight nine months now, and uh... it is. It's the hair, isn't it? See, I was trying to get more Milo Stewart. That's his brain doing that. It's like Down syndrome has a really specific look you know you can see someone and know exactly what's up with them this is the same thing and as it's gotten longer it's like I just felt like physically I felt more like myself than I than I ever have you wait until you start growing pubic hair mate you're not gonna know what's going on you know I, I, I wouldn't go so far as to say that I feel dysphoric sometimes looking in the mirror but like sometimes if it feels like a low-key version of that if I say I have like a lot of facial hair or we can't have a gender talk without someone saying dysphoria can we it's anxiety that's all but dysphoria sounds so much more serious doesn't it like a mental illness on par with being bipolar or supporting Clinton dysphoria or just look particularly masculine. It just doesn't feel like it's me. It feels like it's somebody else. And as I'm getting longer hair, I feel like I'm seeing me. So this whole video was about you growing your hair. What the fuck are these videos take hours to make? What the fuck are you? You're killing me, man. I mean, I knew it was about gender fluidity, so I wasn't expecting any actual information or anything, but hair? Fuck me. Well, we got through it anyway, and I am proud of every one of you. It has been confirmed, though, the non binary crowd has a uniform and that uniform sprouts out the top of their head and falls to the right giving a con man here the look of someone who is desperately trying to score some crack little does he know he had that crack all along in his skull where he was dropped as a baby thanks for watching guys please consider becoming a patron to support this channel and keep us all well stocked in poor quality entertainment the link is in the description and remember we all lose thousands of brain cells a day but some people take the piss